Good morning. So today we're going to do a little UI audit of some of the examples that you have sent me. And I hope this is going to be a regular series because uh, I really like looking at how other people design and how I can actually help them improve with just a couple of simple tips and tricks because it's really not that difficult. As I said many times, UI is basically just moving rectangles around. So anyone can get better at it if you try and it just takes a little bit of practice. So today I'm gonna take a look at three projects from uh, Monica, Max and uh, Vivid. And I'm gonna give you some feedback, but it's not gonna be like a full redesign of what you've done. My goal is to maybe just point you in the right direction. So I'm gonna ask some questions and I'm gonna suggest some things. And if you want to uh, implement those changes, you can send me the result and I'm gonna talk about it in the next episode. Because uh, one of the best things about this entire thing is actually watching people grow and get better as designers. So this is something that I like the most. There is also some news before we start. Well, first of all, if you know any front-end developers, uh, we are releasing the first chapter of uh, Front-end Unicorn this Wednesday. You can get it at frontendunicorn.com if you sign up for the email list. And uh, also this Wednesday, we're going to be releasing another update to designing user interfaces or main book. And that update is going to be a mini book with uh, UI design style, starting with soft UI and the modern design. But of course, there's gonna be other styles coming as well, like flat design, dark modes, and Neomorphism, of course. And yeah, so that's gonna be coming in the next few weeks. And if you already own designing user interfaces, then this UI styles book is gonna be completely free for you. And if you're curious how the book's gonna look like, this is a sneak peek at the cover. Uh, it's coming as a free update for the current book owners, but it's also gonna be available as a standalone book later. Okay, so let's start looking at your designs now. So here's the first project, it's a flower shop. So the first thing that I'm doing here is checking the alignment of everything to see that everything is in the right place. While the project has pretty good alignment in multiplies of 8, some of the things like the plus button here are definitely a little bit too low, so I'm moving it a little bit higher and centering it in the image. Soft grey shadows don't really work too well with grey and white backgrounds, so I'm removing the shadows completely here and I'm gonna replace the background with a new color that's a little bit off-white but kind of derived from the main theme of the app. The cards, since they're closer, are gonna be a lighter shade of the background color and then I'm gonna add a very soft little bit of red shadow in the background. It's time to do the same thing with the bottom cards as well. And I'm also slightly changing the colors uh, in the subtitles here and removing the roundness in the corners in the bottom of those pieces because uh, it should be as a whole card have rounded corners but the internals of the card look really weird if they have rounded corners as well. Fixing some small alignment issues in the little buttons and the main thing here is that the plus button is almost invisible because it's grey and white and I think that this adding to the cart is actually one of the most important actions on the screen so let's make it a little bit more visible. I also added a screen title, a back button to actually allow you to get out of here and also changed all the font colors to a dark grey with a little bit of red in it. That makes the whole interface fit a little bit better with the typography. Rearranging the product names as well so they can be a little bit thicker and bigger and it's gonna make them pop out a little bit more. And also the price is the most important part in the top window it should also be thicker and more visible. So some of the final touches include adding a gradient to our plus button because that's gonna make it pop out a little bit more and it's gonna be much easier to notice it and then click it. And also fixing some alignment issues, but they're very small and in general this project had pretty good alignment from the start. I'm making the labels a little bit lighter, so now we can see that it has some visual rhythm. And there you have it. It's uh, just a couple small changes and I don't think that you need to implement all of them, but I think that some of the ideas like making the plus button a little bit more prominent are pretty good ones. And also since it's a 
pretty much a little bit softer and flower oriented uh, design you can go with soft shadows because they're gonna feel, feel a lot nicer to the users okay so here's the second project and it's a dashboard design so the first thing to do here is the presentation because if you have a very colorful background then the whole dashboard kind of disappears so it's better to actually mute the background so it's gonna pop out a little bit more so i'm gonna quickly do that now if you're having gray containers also avoid having gray shadows because that's gonna make the edges of the containers just look blurry so it's best to have a little bit of contrast between the shadow and the container so i'm gonna quickly just draw a couple of new containers on top of that to show my point problem is with icons because the icons on the left are thicker and mostly filled ones and the ones on the right are outlined so first of all i'm kind of setting the spacing here and seeing how far the icons actually should be in the container so rearranging this to have some sort of uh, proper spacing will make it a lot clearer and a lot easier to see now if you take the spacing between the containers you can see that the titles in the containers are a different uh, position in the x and y axis and they should be the same uh, distance from each side so i'm kind of moving it around a little bit just to show where it should actually be placed and here is a graph trick to the end because the graph curve looks kind of nice but it could look even better if you kind of duplicate the curve and also finish it create a little gradient that kind of goes to zero opacity in it and then just mute it a little bit but i think that in general you should try to focus more on the spacing to be uniform so each title and each button and each icon is in the same distance from the left and the right and the top whenever it's possible so they need to be just evenly placed uh, on the design in the last project i couldn't really get the right spacing because of the size difference and the mock-ups so i'm gonna improvise a little bit but still using the spacing that we kind of see visually it's not perfectly aligned uh, in every possible way There is also a difference and that, that one of the a little bit of an inconsistency rounded and the other one is just so semi first of all rounded. I'm just going to quickly redo the cards to see what else we can do because the price and the button placement is a little bit weird because it's kind of above the element and it's not really where the people are expecting to see it and usually the price is also really close to the buy button because they're kind of connected and the price can actually influence the decision to add it to the cart And that is of course just a quick exploration including a one with the photo and of course with more time you can do a much better job here but the idea is to first of all keep the icons consistent so they are the right size to the text and their alignment is consistent and the thickness of the, the icons the outline icons is also consistent with the text because they're gonna just look nicer with it and also on the middle screen some of the text is a little bit too small and a little bit too far apart it's best to just find some nice padding and spacing that make it all uniform and much easier to read but overall it's a very nice project and it was a pleasure to actually look into it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe click that like button and share the video so it's gonna help me grow this channel into something really awesome cheers